To be free of suffering, you need to step out of the story of your life and become present. Eckhart Tolle Be like the cliff against which the waves continually break, but it stands firm and tames the fury of the water around it. It is a wretched state to be pleased with one's limits. The superior man understands what is right. The inferior man understands what will sell. Confucius Let go a little and just let life happen. The best thing I ever did was stop telling people what's going on in my life. Be proud of how hard you are trying. You get paid in direct proportion to the difficulty of problems you solve. Alex Hormozzi To Rusticus I am beholding that I first entered into the conceit that my life wanted some redress and cure, and then that I did not fall into the ambition of ordinary sophists, either to write tracts concerning the common theorems, or to exhort men unto virtue in the study of philosophy by public orations, as also that I never by way of ostentation did affect to show myself an active able man for any kind of bodily exercises, and that I gave over the study of rhetoric and poetry, and of elegant, neat language, that I did not use to walk about the house in my long robe, nor to do any such things. Moreover, I learned of him to write letters without any affectation or curiosity, such as that was, which by him was written to my mother from Sinuessa, and to be easy and ready to be reconciled, and well pleased again with them, that had offended me, as soon as any of them would be content to seek unto me again, to read with diligence, not to rest satisfied with a light and superficial knowledge, nor quickly to assent to things commonly spoken of, whom also I must thank that ever I lighted upon Epictetus, his hypomnemata, or moral commentaries and common factions, which also he gave me of his own. Only two things can reveal life's great secrets, suffering and love. Do not trust your money to a person who likes to count other people's money. Concern should drive us into action and not into depression. No man is free who cannot control himself. Pythagoras A sword can only be formed once it goes into the fire. Love is not enough to make a happy, lasting relationship. At any given moment, you have the power to say, This is not how the story is going to end. Deepak Chopra He that feareth death, either feareth that he shall have no sense at all, or that his senses will not be the same, whereas he should rather comfort himself that either no sense at all, and so no sense of evil, or if any sense, then another life, and so no death properly. To be angry is to take revenge on oneself for the mistakes of others. Problems are the price you pay for progress. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Steve Jobs Being private, staying low-key, and not telling everyone everything is self-care. Our anxiety does not come from thinking about the future, 
but from wanting to control it. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Wayne Dyer As generation is, so also death, a secret of nature's wisdom. A mixture of elements resolved into the same elements again, a thing surely which no man ought to be ashamed of. In a series of other fatal events and consequences, which a rational creature is subject unto, not improper or incongruous, nor contrary to the natural and proper constitution of man himself. If a man could have half of his wishes, he would double his troubles. It is a rough road that leads to the heights of greatness. Do not sabotage yourself by unwittingly adopting negative, unproductive attitudes through your associations with others. Epictetus The roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. Stop being okay with everything. You are in danger of living a life so comfortable and soft that you will die without ever realizing your true potential. David Goggins Remember that to change thy mind upon occasion and to follow him that is able to rectify thee is equally ingenuous as to find out at the first what is right and just without help. For of thee nothing is required, Ty, is beyond the extent of thine own deliberation and jun, merit, and of thine own understanding. Remember, some things have to end for better things to begin. Being lonely and being alone are different things. If you're going through hell, keep going. Winston Churchill Never attribute to malice that which can be adequately explained by stupidity. Of all the thieves, idiots are the most harmful. They steal our time and mood from us. Let yourself be silently drawn by the strange pull of what you really love. It will not lead you astray, Rumi. As the ordinary shows of the theater and of other such places, when thou art presented with them, affect thee, as the same things still seen and in the same fashion make the sight ingrateful and tedious, so must all the things that we see all our life long affect us. For all things above and below are still the same, and from the same causes. When then will there be an end? Stop telling people everything. Most people don't care, and some secretly want you to fail. Be careful what you tolerate. You are teaching people how to treat you. In the confrontation between the stream and the rock, the stream always wins. Not through strength, but by perseverance. Buddha. Everything outside of this moment is just imagination. When you know yourself, you stop fearing missing out on things that are not meant for you. Positive thinking will let you do everything better than negative thinking will. Zig Ziglar
No man can admire thee for thy sharp, acute language, such is thy natural disability that way. Be it so, yet there be many other good things, for the want of which thou canst not plead the want or natural ability. Let them be seen in thee which depend wholly from thee, sincerity, gravity, laboriousness, contempt of pleasures. Be not querulous, be content with little, be kind, be free, avoid all superfluity, all vain prattling, be magnanimous. Dost not thou perceive how many things there be, which notwithstanding any pretense of natural indisposition and unfitness, thou mightest have performed and exhibited, and yet still thou doest voluntarily continue drooping downwards? Or wilt thou say that it is through defect of thy natural constitution, that thou art constrained to murmur, to be base and wretched, to flatter? now to accuse and now to please and pacify thy body, to be vainglorious, to be so giddy-headed and unsettled in thy thoughts. Nay, witnesses be the gods, of all these thou mightest have been rid long ago, only this thou must have been contented with, to have borne the blame of one that is somewhat slow and dull, wherein thou must so exercise thyself as one who neither doth much take to heart, this is natural defect, nor yet pleaseth himself in it. Nothing is more honorable than a grateful heart. The moment when you want to quit is the moment when you need to keep pushing. You will never do anything in this world without courage. It is the greatest quality of the mind next to honor. Aristotle Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. Only dead fish go with the flow. In true dialogue, both sides are willing to change. Thich Nhat Hanh. Bodily pleasure does not increase when the pain of want has been removed. After that, it only admits of variation. The limit of mental pleasure, however, is reached when we reflect on these bodily pleasures and their related emotions, which used to cause the mind the greatest alarms. Blessed are those who do not fear solitude, who are not afraid of their own company, who are not always desperately looking for something to do, something to amuse themselves with, something to judge, You have nothing to prove to anyone. This too shall pass, ancient Greek proverb. Fake love is mighty convincing in a world where real love is mighty rare. A man only begins to be valued when he is no longer there. Usually when we hear or read something new, we just compare it to our own ideas. If it is the same, we accept it and say that it is correct. If it is not, we say it is incorrect. In either case, we learn nothing. Tishnat Han Forbear henceforth to complain of the trouble of a courtly life either in public before others, or in private by thyself. Sometimes we create our own heartbreaks through expectation. Everything you need will come to you at the perfect time. The unexamined life is not worth living. Apology.
This statement encapsulates the Socratic method and Plato's belief in the pursuit of knowledge and self-reflection. It encourages us to question our assumptions and strive for a life of understanding. Carry the spirit of the child into old age, which means never losing your enthusiasm. You have to believe in yourself. There is nothing softer and more flexible than water, but try to resist it. The greatest of all mistakes is to do nothing because you think you can only do a little. Zig Ziglar Consider them through all actions and occupations of their lives, as when they eat and when they sleep, when they are in the act of necessary exoneration and when in the act of lust. Again, when they either are in their greatest exaltation and in the middle of all their pomp and glory, or being angry and displeased in great state and majesty, as from an higher place they chide and rebuke. How base and slavish, but a little while ago, they were fain to be, that they might come to this. And within a very little while, what will be their estate, when death hath once seized upon them? Learn as if you were not reaching your goal, and as though you were scared of missing it. The only person with whom you have to compare yourself is you in the past. At dawn, when you have trouble getting out of bed, tell yourself, I have to go to work as a human being. What do I have to complain of if I'm going to do what I was born for, the things I was brought into the world to do? Or is this what I was created for? To huddle under the blankets and stay warm? Marcus Aurelius Listen more than you speak, for wisdom often comes from silence. Careful who you marry, and even more careful who you have kids with. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darknesses of other people. Carl Jung To wipe away fancy, to use deliberation, to quench concupiscence, to keep the mind free to herself. Forgive, but do not forget, or you will be hurt again. Forgetting loses the lesson. Your heart will tell you where to go. Your head will guide you there safely. Use one without the other and you will get lost. Only the dead have seen the end of war. Plato. If you don't clear your misunderstanding in time, they become the reason for distance forever. Ingratitude is a kind of weakness. Outstanding people are never ungrateful. I believe that people make their own luck by great preparation and good strategy. Jack Canfield As often as a father kisseth his child, he should say secretly with himself, said Epictetus, Tomorrow perchance shall he die. But these words be ominous, no words ominous, said he, that signify anything that is natural. In very truth, indeed, not more ominous than this. To cut down grapes when they are ripe. Green grapes, ripe grapes, dried grapes, or raisins. So many changes and mutations of one thing, 
not into that which was not absolutely, but rather so many several changes and mutations, not into that which hath no being at all, but into that which is not yet in being. If you have more than three priorities, you have none. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. The only real failure in life is not to be true to the best one knows. Buddha Pain tells you that you have been injured, but more importantly, it tells you that you are not dead yet. Perfection is achieved not when there is nothing more to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. The walls we build around us to keep sadness out also keep out the joy. Jim Rohn Of progress or improvement. He who is making progress, having learned from philosophers that desire means the desire of good things, and aversion means aversion from bad things, having learned too that happiness and tranquility are not attainable by man otherwise than by not failing to obtain what he desires and not falling into that which he would avoid. Such a man takes from himself desire altogether and defers it, but he employs his aversion only on things which are dependent on his will. For if he attempts to avoid anything independent of his will, he knows that sometimes he will fall in with something which he wishes to avoid, and he will be unhappy. Now if virtue promises good fortune and tranquility and happiness, certainly also the progress toward virtue is progress toward each of these things. For it is always true that to whatever point the perfecting of anything leads us, progress is an approach toward this point. How then do we admit that virtue is such as I have said, and yet seek progress in other things and make a display of it? What is the product of virtue? Tranquility. Who then makes improvement? It is he who has read many books of Chrysippus. But does virtue consist in having understood Chrysippus? If this is so, progress is clearly nothing else than knowing a great deal of Chrysippus. But now we admit that virtue produces one thing, and we declare that approaching near to it is another thing, namely, progress or improvement. Such a person, says one, is already able to read Chrysippus by himself. Indeed, sir, you are making great progress. What kind of progress? But why do you mock the man? Why do you draw him away from the perception of his own misfortunes? Will you not show him the effect of virtue that he may learn where to look for improvement? Seek it there, wretch, where your work lies. And where is your work? In desire and in aversion, that you may not be disappointed in your desire, and that you may not fall into that which you would avoid in your pursuit and avoiding, that you commit no error, in assent and suspension of assent, that you be not deceived. The first things and the most necessary are those which I have named. But if with trembling and lamentation you seek not to fall into that which you avoid, tell me how you are improving. Do you then show me your improvement in these things? If I were talking to an athlete, I should say, Show me your shoulders. And then he might say, Here are my halteres. You and your halteres look to that. I should reply, I wish to see the effect of the halteres. So, when you say, Take the treatise on the active powers and see how I have studied it, I reply, Slave, I am not inquiring about this, but how you exercise pursuit and avoidance, desire and aversion, how your design and purpose and prepare yourself whether conformably to nature or not. If conformably, give me evidence of it, and I will say that you are making progress. But if not conformably, be gone, and not only expound your books, but write such books yourself. And what will you gain by it? Do you not know that the whole book costs only five denarii? Does then the expounder seem to be worth more than five denarii? Never then, 
look for the matter itself in one place and progress toward it in another. Where then is progress? If any of you, withdrawing himself from externals, turns to his own will to exercise it and to improve it by labor, so as to make it conformable to nature, elevated, free, unrestrained, unimpeded, faithful, modest. And if he has learned that he who desires or avoids the things which are not in his power can neither be faithful nor free, but of necessity he must change with them and be tossed about with them as in a tempest, and of necessity must subject himself to others who have the power to procure or prevent what he desires or would avoid. Finally, when he rises in the morning, if he observes and keeps these rules, bathes as a man of fidelity, eats as a modest man, in like manner, if in every matter that occurs he works out his chief principles as the runner does with reference to running, and the trainer of the voice with reference to the voice. This is the man who truly makes progress, and this is the man who has not traveled in vain. But if he has strained his efforts to the practice of reading books and labors only at this, and has traveled for this, I tell him to return home immediately, and not to neglect his affairs there. For this for which he has traveled is nothing. But the other thing is something to study how a man can rid his life of lamentation and groaning, and saying, Woe to me, and wretched that I am and to rid it also of misfortune and disappointment, and to learn what death is and exile and prison and poison, that he may be able to say when he is in fetters, Dear Crito, if it is the will of the gods that it be so, let it be so. And not to say, Wretched am I, an old man, have I kept my gray hairs for this. Who is it that speaks thus? Do you think that I shall name some man of no repute and of low condition? Does not Priam say this? Does not Oedipus say this? Nay, all kings say it. For what else is tragedy than the perturbations of men who value externals exhibited in this kind of poetry? But if a man must learn by fiction that no external things which are independent of the will concern us for this, part I should like this fiction, by the aid of which I should live happily and undisturbed, but you must consider for yourselves what you wish. What then does Chrysippus teach us? The reply is, to know that these things are not false, from which happiness comes and tranquility arises. Take my books, and you will learn how true and conformable to nature are the things which make me free from perturbations. O oh, great good fortune, O oh, the great benefactor who points out the way, to Triptolemus all men have erected temples and altars, because he gave us food by cultivation. But to him who discovered truth and brought it to light and communicated it to all, not the truth which shows us how to live, but how to live well. Who of you for this reason has built an altar, or a temple, or has dedicated a statue, or who worships God for this? Because the gods have given the vine, or wheat, we sacrifice to them but because they have produced in the human mind that fruit by which they design to show us the truth which relates to happiness, shall we not thank God for this? You can't start the next chapter of your life if you keep rereading the last one. If you can't do it now, you won't do it ever. Omnia mea mecum porto, all that is mine I carry with me. Bias of Priena. Prioritize your mental health like you would your physical health. Exercise your mind with new challenges and positive self-talk. Do not give in too much to feelings. An overly sensitive heart is an unhappy possession on this shaky earth. The past is gone, the future is not yet here, and if we do not go back to ourselves in the present moment, we cannot be in touch with life. Thich Nhat Hanh.